The state of addiction is bringing rise to a special kind of courtroom in Missouri. Opioids are making drug courts more popular. One woman tells me that program is the reason she's alive today. I feel relieved driving by places like that. Places and, uh, like this gas station. So this was like a for sure spot. Parking lot drug deals drove her to rock bottom. I didn't like who I was and who I became. Fentanyl, prescription pills and meth until a felony landed Vanessa Dement here. What do you want to tell me? I don't have any, any explanation. Drug court. Then tell me why you tested uh, uh, positive for THC, 4.3 nanograms. Run by no-nonsense Cass County Judge Mike Rumley. I, I don't know. I haven't smoked Okay. Then where would it come from? THC doesn't come just drifting out of the clouds into your system. For some, it's pot, but for most, it's meth or opioids. I've had one participant recently who was uh, shooting up heroin four and five times a day, every day, seven days a week. How's treatment going? He tells me in drug court, treatment meets justice. When they get into our program, it's the first time that they've had, you know, accountability, and structure. Dements on the other side now. In Rumley's courtroom, eight of ten graduate. How many days clean and sober? 89. 89, very good. Of those, just one will reoffend. Drug court's an opportunity to change your life. It's it's that opportunity that the streets don't give you. Drug court really helped me, I and mean, it's an amazing program. Dement and was looking at seven years in prison, but tells me instead she's been and, clean uh, nearly two and, years. But the good thing is, like, my worst day not using is better than my best day using. Here's drug court by the numbers. There are 92 adult drug courts in Missouri. It costs $7,000 per person, far less than incarceration. In Rumley's courtroom, 10% of people will reoffend. In a traditional criminal courtroom, it's 55 to 75%.